Newcastle has entered Apex Legends, and we're celebrating his arrival with three RGB Ingenuity profiles. You can find links in the description below or watch on to make them for yourself. Style 1 Eyes on the prize. To hide his identity, Newcastle comes sporting a distinctive Robocop style visor. Though don't worry, there are no secret directives waiting to override your humanity here. Our first look aims to replicate that visor design on your keyboard. Open up Ingenuity, add a new preset with a memorable picture, and you're ready to begin. We've started by creating a light blue solid effect across the caps lock and shift key rows of the main keyboard. Add the T, Y, U, 6 and 7 keys and you've got a pretty solid Newcastle visor shape. To add a bit of fun, we won't just stick with a fixed brightness. Instead, we're going to give our mask a gentle pulse effect. Start by lowering the opacity of this solid layer down to around 30. Next, create a breathing pattern over the same keys, with the same colour and this time at full opacity. Drop the speed of the pattern down to around 7 and you've created a subtle hum to bring some life to your keyboard. For some extra flair, let's stick a swipe effect across the function keys and RGB bar if your keyboard has one. We've set it to shift between the same blue and a deeper yellow to match Newcastle's armour and shield insignia. We've then created a split diagonal effect across the numpad using the same colours. And just like that, our RGB visor is complete. If you want this look to load up whenever you launch Apex Legends, you'll need to use Ingenuity's Game Link function. Navigate to the Install folder and select r5apex.exe. Alternatively, you can assign the preset to one of your keyboard's three onboard memory slots by clicking Save to Keyboard. Style 2 – A Keyboard Castle Our next look is based on Newcastle's emblem, featured proudly on his shield and armour. We want those crenellations front and centre, so let's start by adding a burnished yellow to form the lower right side of the emblem. We can then build out the top left side using the same blue as in the previous design. Check the keys on screen now to copy our design. We're willing to bet you've never seen RGB Merlons before. Newcastle's shield emblem also includes bars to either side, so let's extend both the yellow and blue colours to cover the keys either side of the spacebar, and then run up the edges of the main board. To save that numpad from resting empty, we've also dialed the numbers in blue before ringing them in yellow. For this design, we've also activated a triggered effect of a rapid blue fade. That'll light up those WASD keys that you'll be hammering throughout every match. And last of all, if you've got an Alloy Elite 2 or another keyboard with an RGB bar, that blue and yellow swipe effect we made previously is a perfect finishing touch. Remember to link this design or save it to the next preset slot on your keyboard. Style 3 – Let's Get Sweaty Right, now that those filthy casuals are out of the way, let's get serious. When it's time to hit ranked play, you don't want any flashy distractions tearing your eyes from the screen. But that doesn't mean you can't rep your man Newcastle's colours. Our last look takes his yellow and blue theming with a focus on highlighting the keys you need and their functions. We've started by covering everything but the central keys in the same blue as before. This time, drop the opacity down to just 20 to keep this muted and in the background. Next up, we've applied Newcastle's yellow to WASD, the spacebar, and control for those all-important knee slides. We've then picked out several valuable keys to highlight in a full opacity blue layer. We chose E for interact, R for reload, G for grenade, and V for melee. Our ability keys, Q and Z, are given a deeper blue to distinguish them. Looking up to the numbers, we've covered the weapon keys, 1 to 3, in a dull orange, then given our healing key, 4, a muted olive green. Now you've got no excuses for fumbling your key presses in the middle of a fight. Sorry about that. Of course, if you've already reassigned your inputs, feel free to adjust your highlighted keys as desired. To complete the design, we brought over the split emblem colours to the numpad from our first preset. You can also bring out the RGB bar and top buttons in yellow if you have them. Now you're ready to game. Light Sync 
If you've got an RGB mouse or mouse mat, you can also complete your Newcastle look using Ingenuity's Light Sync feature. Link your extra items with a cycle of the same blue and yellow to ensure your entire game space is in the zone. Want to see us create colour schemes for any other Apex Legends characters or another game entirely? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for joining us here at HyperX. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we wish you the best of luck in the Apex games ahead. Yes.